Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video, and this is page two from uh, when we went to church in Richmond, Virginia. So if you saw page one, I kind of already explained that. We just so happened to go to church during the renaming of this one. So this was called St. Peter's Catholic Church, and now it is called the Pro-Cathedral of St. Peter because it was the original cathedral for the Diocese of Virginia. <laughs> um, since then, it has moved to a new cathedral, but they wanted to honor again, the history, like I kind of mentioned in the first page, by renaming uh, this as it was the original. So it was really cool. They had a bunch of things on loan from the cathedral that we got to see. <laughs> and you'll kind of see pictures of those later on in the page. I don't end up scrapbooking them because I know what those things look like. So my plan is to just journal what we saw while we visited on this page. And then I won't need to actually scrapbook those pictures. Uh, but you'll see everything that we got to see um, and a couple pictures I'll lay out later on in the page. But I decided because um, this church, the inside is painted kind of like a light blue and the ceiling has like a sky mural on it with clouds and everything. I really wanted to do this tone on tone blue for this page. So I'm just taking a scrap piece. Well, I, I gutted the middle of that solid. I'm saving the outer portion for a frame for a later page. But I decided to use this light blue floral and have a huge chunk of the middle be this solid that I can kind of build off of. Um, and then I took a scrap of this aqua and white stripe to be my main layer I'm going to build from. So I just kind of stacked a couple scraps together to build this out. I know I want one of those doilies from Allie on here. Uh, just cleaning up some of my rough edges from where I gutted these papers. But I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stack these two photos together and build from there. So um, I have two 4x4 photos. I'm matting them both on a skinny border of white. And then I'm just going to kind of stagger them next to each other <laughs> on this um, vertical piece of this striped paper. And that's where I'm going to plan on building everything from. Uh, I'm thinking with the lighter tones in uh, the photo, you can see their beautiful organ <laughs> um, in the one photo that was up on the balcony behind us in the church. And then you can see the altar in front with all this really beautiful stonework and statues. And so I really thought this kind of lighter wood grain, this softer wood grain kind of pulled out those tones. So um, I'm hoping to kind of go in that direction as far as ephemera. <laughs> so you can see this one three by four cut apart that says uh, love builds a happy home. I'm thinking maybe I'll use that for one of my layers. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I'm going to just have uh, the top part of it sticking out from up there and then hang the bottom part of that die cut down the bottom. <laughs> so you'll kind of see what I mean. But um, again, just using some more branding strips. I'm really trying to take advantage of my branding strips. So um, they kind of had this blue on blue kind of, it's kind of a green tone, but it's in the color scheme of the floral I've already used. And I'm using both of those branding strips to stack top and bottom of these two um, photos to kind of look like my first layer. <laughs> I just wanted a, a paper layer um, behind the photos before I started building with my ephemera. So I think that's just enough. I didn't want too much, but I think that's good. And now you can kind of see the top of that die cut, how it'll look if I trim the top portion off. And then I'm thinking I'll just cut <laughs> the bottom portion, have it hang down below and build off of both of those areas for my embellishment clusters. So I kind of like that. It's kind of, kind of funky, but I like how it pulls, um, that color into both areas of the page. And then you can see I also pulled in a die cut with the same color scheme that says there's no place like home. I also mentioned on my last page, I love using homey type ephemera and um, themes for church. So out of this collection was perfect for documenting this. <laughs> and again, just gutting what I know is gonna be covered. Um, so just give me a minute to kind of, <laughs> I'm trying to save what I can because I know this, this collection, it's the sixth as I'm voiceovering and I've already got nine pages done. So I'm trying to save what I can to try and um, get as much as I can out of this collection before the month, the month's over. Um, but yeah, just going to back this. Sorry, I thought I trimmed this part out, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> but just doing my normal backing the page just to increase stability and uh, give me somewhere to glue these other layers onto. <clears throat> But I do like the kind of design I've got going here, this kind of hanging from the top on this striped piece and then <laughs> building out with the clusters like that. I think it's kind of fun. 
So I'm pretty much going to glue this all down right where I had it before and then I'll start playing with embellishing. This page came together pretty quickly. Um, I do pull in the stamp set again that Ali sent me because I just couldn't not pull it in. It goes so perfect with this collection. So you'll see that in a little bit. Um, but I definitely know I need to do some journaling, which is another pro to using this striped paper as I already have my lines out for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to journal underneath the photos on this striped piece of paper and it works out like perfect. <laughs> um, you can kind of see what I was going for with the ephemera pieces with this light wood grain. There's three distinct areas where that is because I did cut that cut apart into two pieces. So I'm kind of thinking those are going to be my three areas of embellishment, which really create a nice visual triangle around my photos. Um, so I'm just working on this one to the left here to try and figure out how I can beef it up a little bit. There's a beautiful little wreath sticker that has the same colors and designs as this floral background. Um, so I decided to cut it into two pieces and layer it up on either side of um, this left embellishment cluster, but I also tucked a piece of it up to the upper right hand <laughs> embellishment, which you can see. Um, and now I just wanted a little friend to stick behind the wreath as well as looking too plain as it was. So I did just take a sticker banner of that kind of bluey plaid um, to go behind there, but <laughs> I'm happy with that. I think that's a nice little um, base for this embellishment. So I just popped it up on some foam and that's going to be stuck up there. I do go back and add a little bit more layer later, but I think that's a nice uh, starting point. And then um, really wasn't planning on pulling in this little these little letter board things, but I did want something to kind of be a nod to the first page. Um, these, this page and the first page I did from the church, even though I'm using the same collection, they really don't look very similar, but I wanted there to be some crossover. So, I mean, I already know I'm using Allie's doilies. I'm using the heartwood veneer I'll get to, um, but I really wanted to pull in this little letter board idea because that was one of the bigger ephemera bits on the last page. So there's one that says home sweet home. I'm trying to do the same thing I did with that larger die cut, but with this tiny letter board, it just looks awkward. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to use that smaller bit I already cut off somewhere, so I just move it to this other cluster just for additional layering. Um, and I, I think that looks fine. It really wasn't needed, but at that point I'd already trimmed it. So I was like, well, I might as well layer it up somewhere. Um, so that's what I decided to do. There we go. Back to the sticker sheet, definitely trying to beef out these clusters a little bit. Uh, another thing I used on the last page was a little black and white word sticker and a little ampersand sticker. So I pulled both of those in on that upper cluster. That one says family. And then there's just these little doodly black and white. I don't know what they're supposed to be. They kind of look like butterflies on a little bar. I don't know what they are, but um, they kind of remind me of hinges or like a decorative sign element. So I put them on either side of that little cut apart just for some decoration. <laughs> and now you can see I'm just doing my journaling with some black. It just says it was an honor. It was such an honor to attend mass and such a historic church. St. Peter is the oldest continually active church in the Virginia diocese to celebrate the renaming of the Pro Cathedral. They had some very special pieces on display, um, including Bishop Gibbons like hat and staff. So you'll see that picture in just a minute. I'm going to pull that in so I can make sure I copy the name correctly. But these were the things that are on display in the annex that we got to see, which I thought was really, really cool. <laughs> um, so I'm just making sure I'm spelling his name correctly. But yeah, so there's my journaling. And now I'm going to go in with my little heart wood veneer. I'm still thinking there needs to be a little bit more after these wood veneer. And I wasn't quite sure what. And then that's when I was like, oh, the stamp set. So I'll go in with that in a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and glue down all these little heartwood veneer with my Tombow Mono Multi. I'm just clustering a large heart and a little heart in three different areas. And again, that just helps accentuate my visual triangle. Um, everything looks very balanced and pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to get that down. And then I think the last thing I have to do is the stamping. So I'm going to move all of my kind of ephemera out of the way because I'm a very messy stamper, which is why it scares me to stamp sometimes um, because I just seem to always <laughs> mess it up somehow. Um, but I am priming my stamp set this time. The last page I used the stamp set on, I didn't. Um, 
and you could tell. So I'm just rubbing it on my arm to kind of prime it to pick up ink. I'm doing a little tester stamp on a scrap piece of paper. It turned out perfect. So I'm just trying to do the same thing on that upper cluster. I just wanted something to kind of mimic my journaling on the bottom, just a little bit of black text at the top. And I thought that stamp was perfect. And there's this teeny tiny adorable little heart on the stamp set that I've been dying to use as well. So I'm just going to stamp this teeny tiny heart in the middle of the O and I think that is like the cutest thing ever. I love this little stamp set, it's adorable. <laughs> so here are the close-ups, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.